In this lesson, we'll cover creating zones. We already know that spaces are created in MEP in order to run analysis on the elements in the area within, the, within that zone. HVAC analysis, a next step, uh, once we have our spaces out to create zones. Uh, these zones are controlled by certain temperature and humidity or any other elements within that area or within that zone. So looking at my model here, I want to create different zones based on the different spaces within this model. So I can probably say Office 1, Office 2 is a zone because I want all three of those to have a central or common temperature control. I would like the reception area and the men and women quarter 101 to be another zone. 101B, the break room, mechanical and electrical utility space to be another zone. And then the conference room is zone in itself. So to create a zone, just go to the Analyze tab under Spaces and Zones tab panel, click Zone. Now once you click Zone, the ribbon actually changes and you can see where you have Add and Remove Spaces, which is here. Finish and Cancel for the zones. The first thing I want to note is if the properties are highlighted, the name for this zone would be here. That would be the name for the zone. It's zone one. You can leave it that way or you can change the name later on or in the zone schedule. So to add a space in this method, click add space. It's not already selected. And then simply move over the space that you want to add to the zone and click. As you click each space, it'll be surrounded by a black rectangle indicating that that's the zone. Once you're done with this zone, click Finish. And now it adds a zone to your model. So let's repeat the process. So click Zone. And it's verified Add Space. Note the name here is Zone 2 now, and now we'll select everything at the front of the building. The reception, quarter 101A, men and women's, and women's restroom, and then we'll finish editing. Let's repeat the same process again, go Zone. This is going to be Zone 3, and we'll for this zone three, we'll pick up the back area of the building. So we'll go with quarter 101B. Break room, mechanical, electrical, and utility. And then we'll click finish. Now finally, we will zone one more time. And we'll add space and we'll click conference. So what we created are four zones inside our building. And we'll click finish here. So now we have our zones, various types of controls for temperature and humidity within that area. Now the method we used was uh, we went to the analyze tab, click zones, and then we started to click the different spaces that we wanted to add to that zone. We also looked at the properties like being able to change the name of the zone. Now another method we, we didn't explore was first to select the space and then click zone. So so that was the manual method and so next we'll go into uh, that'll be all for this lesson and thank you for watching and uh, meet me in the next video. If you like this video subscribe Check the notification calendar. Thanks again. Bye.